Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing the angle pairs and perpendicular lines. So in this lesson, we will be discussing the complementary angles, supplementary angles, linear pair, and vertical angles. So let's begin with complementary angles. Complementary angles, these are the two angles whose sum measures exactly 90 degrees. So notice in our definition, we are dealing with the pair or angle pairs. So we have two angles whose sum measures exactly 90 degrees. So if we're going to get the sum of the two angles, the sum must be 90. You will also encounter this symbol. We have the perpendicular line symbol. And that symbol means right angle. We know that right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. Okay? To better understand the complementary angles, let's have this illustrative example. Find measure angle ABC using this illustration. So we have a perpendicular line here. That means the sum of the two angles here is equal to 90 degrees. So we're going to find A, measure angle A, B, C. So this angle, measure angle A, B, C. We have the 35, which is the measure of C, B, D. Now to get measure A, B, C, we just need to substitute to get measure angle ABC, 90 minus measure of angle CBD, CBD, and 90 minus measure angle CBD is 35. Now, 90 minus 35, that is 55 degrees. Okay. Now, if you want to check your answer, just substitute 55 plus 35, that is equal to 90. Next example. Let's say we have this illustration. So we have angle KLN. The sum or the measure of angle KLN is 90 because we have a perpendicular line here. Now, we're going to find N and measure angle KLM. So N and measure angle KLM. In the given, we have the measure MLN, which is 28 degrees. So let us find first the measure of N. So N we know that if we're going to add 2n plus 10 plus 28, their sum is 90. Okay. Now, solve for n. So we have 2n is equal to uh, plus 10 plus 28, that is 38, is equal to 90. So for n, so 2n is equal to 90. Addition property of equality. That will become subtract negative 38 or plus negative 38. So we have 2n is equal to 90 minus 38. That is 90 minus 38, 52. Finally, to get n, we need to divide by 2. So our n is 52 divided by n, 26. 26. So the value of n is 26. Now, we need to get the measure angle KLM. KLM. We know that KLM is equal to 2n plus 10. Since we have the value of n, so just substitute 2 times n is 26, copy plus 10. 2 times 26, 
that is 52. Don't forget, plus 10, so that is 62 degrees. 62 degrees is the measure of angle KLM. If you want to check if your answer is correct, just substitute 62 plus 28. Is it equal to 90? So 62 plus 28. So 10 carry 1, 90. Yes, it is equal to 90. Is therefore, your answer is correct. So that's the complementary angle. Now let us discuss the supplementary angles. Supplementary angles, two angles whose sum measures exactly 180 degrees. So we have two angles. If we're going to get the sum of that two angles, the sum must be 180 degrees. Under the supplementary angles, you will encounter the linear pair postulate. If two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. Therefore, if two angles, if the sum of the two angles is 180, then they are a linear pair. Or, if the two angles lie on a straight line, that indicates that their sum is 180 degrees. Now, let's have this illustrative example. Let us name the pair of angles that will form a linear pair. So in this case, we have angle 1 and angle 2 are linear pair. Okay, 1 and 2. We also have angle 2 and angle 3 are linear pair. We also have angle 3 and angle 4. Angle 3 and angle 4 are linear pair. Next, last one is angle 1 and angle 4 are linear pair. That means if they are linear pair, if we're going to get the sum of the measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 that is equal to 180 degrees because they are also supplementary angles if you get the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 that is equal to 180 degrees measure of angle 3 plus measure of angle 4 is equal to 180 degrees and measure angle 1 plus measure angle 4 that is also equal to 180 degrees another example let's say we have this illustration we have ABC that is unknown we don't have a measure then CBD is equal to 40 degrees we're going to find the measure of angle ABC ABC The two angles form a linear pair, so they are supplementary. Therefore, to get ABC, we just need to subtract 180, uh, 40 from 180. That means the measure of angle ABC is equal to 140 degrees. So ABC is 140 degrees. If you want to check your answer, just simply substitute 140 plus 40, that is 180 degrees. Now let us try to solve some problems regarding the linear pair and the supplementary angles. Let's have this diagram or um, illustration. So we have a straight line. We have angle 1, angle 2. Then the corresponding given, we have 50, 65, and angle 2 measures 3x plus 10 degrees. We're going to find measure of angle 1 x and measure of angle 2. Now let's try to find number 1, measure of angle 1. Measure angle 1. We know that angle 1 
and the given 50 degrees form a linear pair. So to get angle 1, we need to subtract 50 from 180. So 180 minus 50, that is 130 degrees. That would be the measure of angle 1. Number 2, find x. So here, x, then we have two angles. We know that their sum must equal to 90 at 180. So we have 3x plus 10 plus 65 is equal to 180 degrees. So their sum is equal to 180. Now we have 3x plus 10 plus 65 that is 75 is equal to 180. 3x is equal to 180 minus 75. So 3x is equal to 180 minus 75, that is 105. Now to get x, divide by 3. x is equal to 105 divided by 3, that is 35. Now we have a value for x. We can get now the value of angle 2. Now let us proceed to number 3. Measure angle 2. Measure angle 2 is equal to 3x plus 10. So 3 times substitute the value of x, that is 35 plus 10. So 3 times 35, that is 100. 105 plus 10. So 105 plus 10, that is 115. So measure of angle 2 is 115. So if you want to check your answer, just substitute 115 plus 65 is equal to 180. They are supplementary angles. Next will be the vertical angles. Now let us proceed to vertical angles. A vertical angle theorem. If two angles are vertical, then they are congruent. So in other words, if two angles, uh, vertical angles are congruent or equal. So let's say we have this uh, illustration. We have two angles. We have angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, and angle 4 here. So these are examples of vertical angles. That means the measure of angle 1 is equal to measure of angle 3, or congruent. Measure of angle 2 is congruent to measure of angle 4. That means if angle 2 is 95, therefore, the measure of angle 4 is also 95. Let's say if measure of angle 1 is 55, therefore, measure of angle 3 is 55. So, that is the vertical angle theorem. To better understand, let's have this problem. We have two lines intersecting vertically. We're going to find x, y, measure angle BEC and measure angle CED. So let us first study our illustration. We know that vertical angle theorem, uh, vertical angles are congruent, this angle is equal to this angle. And this one is equal to this angle. Now, let us find x. Using the theorem, to find x, we're just going to equate the two angles. So, 3x plus 50 is equal to x plus 60. Now, solve for x. 3x minus x, addition property of equality, or just subtract x. So 60 minus 50. Now 2x minus x, that is 2x, is equal to 
60 minus 50, that is 10. To find x, divide by 2, so x is equal to 5. So we have now a value for x, x is equal to 5. Next, number 2, y. So applying the property, so 2y plus 5 is equal to y plus 60. Now, so for y, 2y minus y is equal to 60 minus 5. So we have y is equal to y, y because 2y minus y is simply y, or 1y is equal to 60 minus 5, that is 50. So y is equal to 50. Now, number three, measure angle BEC. Measure angle BEC. We know that measure angle BEC, BEC is Y plus 60. Since we have a value for Y now, so we have the substitute 55 plus 60, that is 115. Degrees. And number four, find measure angle CED. Measure angle CED is equal to CED <coughs> is 3x plus 10. We have a value for x which is 5, so 3 times 5 plus 10. Now we have 3 times 5. 15 plus 10, that is 25. So, X is uh, measure angle CED is, oh, I'm sorry, CED is 3X plus 50. This is 50, 50. So, 15 plus 50, that is 65. Okay, 65. Now, if you want to check the answer, um, we have BEC, which is 115. BEC, 115. So, of course, applying the theorem, this is also 115. And CED, CED is 65. Applying vertical theorem, this is also 65. Now, if you want to check, to verify your answer, apply the supplementary angles, or linear pair. This will form a linear pair, so 65 plus 15 is equal to 108 degrees. And also in this case, 65 plus 115, 180 degrees. So that's the complementary angles, supplementary angles, the linear pair postulate, and the vertical angle theorem. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.